Hiya, Anna. Terry, Ashton on the line, 57 years of age. Today, I called into one of the motorway services on my way down for doing a delivery. Don't normally use them because they're expensive, not as clean as they should be. Anyway, unbelievable. I don't think I saw one person without a mask on. All walking around, apart from myself. And the lots that we're giving was, well, I take it with a pinch of salt to go out on this with you. You could think what they th want. But what I do find quite upsetting is to see those, the young children, young children with masks on, and the fear in the face as I walked in with no mask on, stepping back. What we are doing to our children is just so, so frightening. When the ch these children I can't see um, that they're not going to have any mental issues. And this is shameful. This is shameful from the government. It's shameful from the parents. And it's shameful as a country. People should be standing up now and saying this has gone on far too much. We're all capable of looking after ourselves but I'm just I'm just stunned there was a, a gentleman on from Essex who put a video on called Dave and uh, he was telling us about all his ailments and illnesses and how he's not being looked after and now they're being left. What, what have we got to do to change this? I ain't the best speaker in the world. I, I get all mumbly and, and I go off on tangents and you know, being as best I can not to swear. Because usually I, I can be a bit foul mouthed. But it's gone past swearing, hasn't it? It's gone past swearing. We understand that the uh, there's more people being <laughs> affected because they're doing more tests. So the more tests you do, the more chance you got of people coming across as effective, in infected. If they was to have done this just for the flu virus, you'd probably find people of carrying the a flu virus and never been poorly with it. You know. You try and think there's a, a rational way out of this or round it, but you can't see it. Unless more and more of us start screaming and shouting from it, from wherever we can, putting our points of view across, you know, leading people down the road to show them this is a scam. This is this is destruction of mankind, to be quite honest with you. If you if, Sorry, I nearly swore then. If you if you think about what they're doing, the mental anguish that people will be going through, and the people need to stop looking, watching TV, listening to the mainstream media. People need to start looking and seeing what's oh man, what is being done done to them under their noses spineless people who haven't got the balls to say something's wrong with this spineless people who are willing to put their children their own children through all kinds of mental torture putting making them believe that wearing masks face rugs is the best thing for them we, we, no no this once was a fine country, a great country. We ain't got no strong leaders. We ain't got somebody st st uh, standing up saying this is a load of nonsense. Where is the counter argument? Who are? Who, where are they on the, on the TVs or the newspapers or anything? Where's the counter argument? There was only one decent uh, journalist on the BBC and they go and get rid of him because he spoke, spoke the truth. 
The rest of them are a shower of And I just don't know. You know, I'll be up as frustrated as everybody else. And I tell you now, and the truth of the matter is, I won't be having no virus, uh, vaccine. I won't be taking no vaccine. I mean, <laughs> you can't. Yeah, oh, man. I would, I would, my children are growing up, but they've got children of their own, my grandchildren. Uh, and then it's that when they're older, their grandchildren, I just do not know what kind of world they're going to be living in. Because I tell you what, I always thought Logan, Logan's run was supposed to have been far fetched, but I tell you what, we're heading that way, aren't we? As soon as that little dot in your hand comes up, boom, gone. But once again, I, I want to say thank you for allowing people to have a platform. Those of us who are not brain dead, you know, to speak our mind. And, and uh, I want to be thankful for everybody uh, who's come on here and said things. It, give, it gives you strength once again. But thank you very much.